Camping and Seed Bank 2010. We're at the Peace Farm. It's Friday the 23rd of July. As you can see, the corn about two feet tall now. It's looking good. The squash, butternut squash, you can also see the beans. They're all coming up real nice. More squash, corn. This is the Yubel's funeral home, as you can see down in here. And it is about two and a half feet tall. Remember, that is how tall it was two and a half weeks ago. So you can see the beans are doing really good. Butternut squash. Another bean and a corn. Here's a nice butternut squash and a bean. Here's a bean that's starting to vine. Unfortunately, this particular pile does not have a corn for it to vine up. You see, this is the vine here. I'm going to have to put a pole in that one. Got some real nice ones over here. There's a small one. These are the big dogs here. This is the Connecticut Field Pumpkin. And again, just for size reference, here's my hand. You see these leaves are bigger than my head. See the corn? There are two side by side. No dwarfism. They're all natural. And again over here, another couple corn. And that looks like a Connecticut field pumpkin. Smaller one. Another big, big nice one. This is one of my favorites. You can see it's going into aggressive growth mode here. Same with this one over here. And this one over here. I wanted to bring you over here to show you some of the nice, nice ones on the end. They loved the rain. The coffee pots worked good. Here's a nice one. You can see very happy. They're all beginning to do what they do. As we go down the field, about half of them are in full-blown growth mode. The other half have been going real slow. You can see there's some smaller ones that only popped about two weeks ago. All of this was planted at the same time, and they've all been coming up more recently than not. The big ones down there on the end were planted after these, but because of the weather, they waited for this rainstorm to really start taking off. This one here I've been keeping an eye on. You see the yellow? The yellow indicates a nitrogen deficiency. In other words, when that root went down and hit that lime, it locked out all the nitrogen. You can see it turned to yellow. Now that the roots have penetrated through the lime, they're starting to get the compost tea that they want. Again, a couple little corns, another butternut squash. Here's a real nice one. Everything is doing really good. And as we come over here, this is all goat manure. You can tell the difference in color. See they have a dark green color, dark green color, dark green color. That is the goat manure. And as soon as we get into the horse manure, they change color. You can see they have a yellowish color to them, which is an indication of a slight nitrogen deficiency, which means these particular piles, the horse manure, is not as acidic as the goat manure. So less lime was needed. So in this section over here, where they're doing fine, they're growing, and as they dig deeper, they'll start getting all the nitrogen they need. They just got to get through that quarter inch thick lime barrier. As you can see, they're starting to get, this is the yellowish. And as you get towards the end, they're starting to get the green color. So that means they've broken through the barrier and they're starting to dig down. So if you're using horse manure, you need less lime than if you were using the cow manure. Just gonna go around, take a peek. The whole month of July, a lot of these that sprouted right away 
didn't do a whole lot. They kind of just sat there for a whole month bearing out that heat wave. And now that the heat wave's over, we're getting the humidity back. Everything's really starting to look nice. I do need to come through here and mow and weed whack these piles, get rid of some of the competition for them. But you can see everything's doing really, really good. So, Freedom Gardening Seed Bank 2010, Friday, July 23rd. The month is almost over, so these plants can start doing what they want to do, which is going into full growth and fruiting mode. And that's when they do the majority of their growing, is through the month of August. And then September they finish up. We got another two and a half months of growing. The beans should be starting to shoot off beans here in about two or three weeks. I planted a bunch of the mammoth sunflowers just the other day along with a bunch of other little flowers that I scattered randomly. So there you have it, that's the update. You can see the corn's doing good. The enemy is in town, you can see them right there. Those are the Japanese beetles. They live in the ground, they come up very similar to potato bugs. They're destructive, I hate these little guys. There's a plant over here, I wanted to show you how much damage those little guys can do once they get established. They kind of set up shop on the leaf. And really do a number. Here it is right here. This is all what Japanese beetles can do. There's one sitting right there. These Japanese beetles are nasty and you can see they don't particularly care for the leaves but when they're hungry they'll eat anything they can get a hold of. So that's that. You can see. I hate those little guys. What I'm going to do is mix up a new batch of the compost tea solution, spray everything with it, That'll give them all a stomach ache, and hopefully they'll move on to something else other than our food. Connecticut field pumpkins. Lots of them. So there's the update. Everything is looking really good. They're about a foot and a half to two feet tall. Down on the end over there where they had a little bit of a pH difference. You can tell there's a little nitrogen lockout down there, but they're doing fine. Everything is doing amazing. These are the ones that sprouted last week. Remember you said that there were some piles that I thought I might have forgot to plant? No, they just waited for these rainstorms to start taking off. Here's a real nice corn. I love it when they get that red color. That indicates that they're getting all the nutrients that they need. And again, another Connecticut field pumpkin. So, we'll see you again in about a week. These are going strong. This whole field is looking like it's going to do well. The deer don't appear to be messing with it at all. And they're doing well. Wow. Compost tea is working. Mulch piles are working. Pile management. Indian companion planting. There you have it.